Day 23, the consecration of St. Joseph, lover of poverty. St. Joseph was unpretentious in the eyes of the world. He had no worldly ambition or desire for recognition. Throughout the centuries, people have often wondered what the financial status of the Holy Family was or what their living conditions were. To answer this question, we look no further than the New Testament. The Holy Family was poor, very poor. St. Joseph was so lowly and poor in the sight of the world, the wise men who entered the stable in Bethlehem did not even acknowledge his presence. The Holy Family journeyed to the temple in Jerusalem to participate in the Jewish ritual of purification for the new mother. Joseph couldn't even afford to purchase a lamb for a burnt offering. Lambs were expensive, and Joseph could only offer a poor man's gift, that is, two turtle doves or two young pigeons. The Holy Family lived on divine providence. Had baby Jesus not been given gold, frankincense, and myrrh by the wise men in Bethlehem, it's likely that St. Joseph would not have had money to purchase food and other necessities for his family when they arrived in Egypt. When they had left from Nazareth for Jerusalem to fulfill the sentence, census, they had not brought many things with them because they expected to return to Nazareth. The gifts of the wise men were God's providential way of taking care of the Holy Family. Years later, after returning to Nazareth from Egypt, the Holy Family lived almost 30 years in a house in Nazareth that was simply in a small. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Have you ever wondered what that actually means? Is Jesus saying that poverty is wonderful? Now, that's not what he is saying. What he is saying is that those who are detached from the things of this world are not far from the kingdom of heaven. When a person is detached from the things of this world, poverty is understood to be a virtue. The person who is detached from material things is truly blessed in spirit and rich in the sight of God. This explains why St. Joseph is called lover of poverty. He relied on divine providence for all of his needs. St. Joseph will help you to be poor in spirit. He will teach you how to be detached from material things and abandoned to divine providence. You'll never find true happiness in material goods. Those who allow their relationship to God to depend on whether they have worldly things are destined for unhappiness. A person who is poor in spirit, on the other hand, is able to proclaim, The Lord gave, the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Job, chapter 1, chapter one verse 21. The silence of St. Joseph proves his greatness and poverty. Everyone likes to boast of their achievements and have others acknowledge their work. St. Joseph, however, never saw the results of his hard work and sacrifice. He trusted that God would bring good fruit from his labor of years of service to Jesus and Mary. And God did. More than that, St. Joseph could have ever imagined. He was poor in the world but rich in the kingdom of heaven. St. Joseph lived content in his poverty.